Captain Forest here. Before I start this video, I'd like to say a few things. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all my supporters for helping me reach 4,000 subscribers. I really appreciate the support and the comments and the feedback I get from my videos. So much appreciated to all of you guys. Now, just a few things. As you can see and you can hear from the mic, I'm not feeling great. I'm still ill. My voice is still quite weak. However, it is starting to improve. I just can't sit around anymore, just lying in bed, recovering. I really want to get this video out to you guys. I've been doing as much research as possible on this specific video, but without further ado, it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of things. In today's video, I'm going to be going over both these combatants to see who would win. More often than not, in a crossfire situation, Ryu from Street Fighter, specifically the game version, versus Jin from Tekken. If you guys are new to my channel, please leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for further content. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the scaling for both Ryu and Jin, and I'm going to give my thoughts on who I think wins more often than not in a crossfire situation. So starting off with Ryu, in terms of attack potency, Ryu would easily scale above the likes of E Honda. E Honda was able to destroy a meteor. This feat was calc around the 57.05 petatons, aka multi-continental level. Shoutouts to Frisk for calcing this. During Street Fighter 4, Ryu faces off against Seth. Ryu went from getting battered by Seth to then completely one-shotting Seth with Hadouken after awakening his power of nothingness form. Now in order to one-shot something or someone, it would at the very least require you to inflict eight times the damage and this form gives Ryu an eight times increase which would bump up his attack potency to 456.4 petatons, putting Ryu quite higher into the multi-continental ranges which is very impressive. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move on to speed. Now, as for speed, Ryu himself would scale above the likes of Sagat, Zangief, and Karin. Sagat was able to blitz Rupo. This was calc around the high hypersonic ranges of speeds, the ruler's staying hand, a move that can travel up to 12,000 kilometers, and Zangief was able to dodge this move, and this feat was calc around the Mach 588, aka massively hypersonic. Ryu would also scale to Bison, who was able to keep pace with the laser, which was calc around the 1% the speed of light, aka sub-relativistic. So there's some decent ranges for Ryu when it comes to stats. Now, that's going to wrap up AP and speed for Ryu. I'm going to go ahead and dive into some of his abilities. In Street Fighter, Chi is physical, spiritual, and mental in nature. Ryu's main bread and butter is his Hadouken, a ball of Chi which he projects from his hands. There are other variations of his Hadouken, such as his Fire Hadouken, the Shinku Hadouken, which is a more potent form of his standard Hadouken, and the Denji Hadouken, which is an electric charge Hadouken, where it electrocutes and stuns the enemy who gets tagged by it. And Ryu can also lace his fists with electricity to deal more damage to his opponents. Ryu knows a technique called the Mind's Eye, which allows him to anticipate attacks and parry them, and then follow up with a counterattack. When utilizing the power of nothingness, this technique not only counterattacks the opponent, but stuns them, leaving them vulnerable. The power of nothingness is a form that gives Ryu instinctive reaction, as it's stated, but the power of nothingness is a state of consciousness transcending ordinary perspective, born through spiritual and mental refinement, bearing common traits with states of being within Buddhism, martial arts, spiritual perfection. It is the power to act without being attached to emotion and thought, free of fear, anger, pride, and ego, to draw upon the contents of one's hearts intuitively without obstacle or hesitation, and to be aware of the world and to know one's place and meaning within the vastness, to flow with all of creation without the need of worry, desire, and doubt. The form buffs Ryu's attack potency and essentially gives him a form of instinctive reaction, kind of like Ultra Instinct Goku. Now, Let's talk about Ryu's skill. Ryu's main choice of fighting style is a Shotokan slash Kyokushin style karate. It's stated that both Ryu and Ken were geniuses who's established their own martial arts after learning various martial arts from Goken, setting out to test their skills. Ryu himself would also scale to the likes of Seth in skill, who is stated at the time in Street Fighter 4 to be the strongest character who can master the special moves of, of various martial artists. Let's talk about some resistances. Ryu himself has shown to resist the power of the Satsui no Hado. The Satsui no Hado corrupts the user physically, spiritually, and mentally. 
This is showcased in Street Fighter V through Ryu's training and journey where he embraces the power of nothingness over the Satsui no Hado. He would also have resistance to death hacks as the raging demon itself kills the person automatically who is burdened by sin. Goken, who used the power of nothingness, protected himself from such an attack from Akuma. That's going to wrap up Ryu. I'm going to go ahead and talk about Jin. Now, get ready for the next battle folks because Jin has some really good scaling. In Tekken 8, Devil Jin performs a feat where he flies into space and fires a giant devastating beam which was fired upon Earth. This feat in question was calc around the 643 petatons of TNT aka multi-continental level. Jin would also scale above the likes of Jinpachi Mishima who has a statement stating that mankind would be exterminated if Jinpachi became fully awakened. In Tekken 7, it's confirmed that Devil Jin defeated Azazel in order to save the planet. Azazel is stated to be a threat to humanity and that if Azazel's seal were to be broken, the world would end, which gives us more consistency for multi-continental scaling and if you want to highball this statement, it can be interpreted as being more so planetary, which is pretty impressive. Overall, pretty direct and consistent for Devil Jin to scale to these levels. Once Jin ascended, and took on a new form called Angel Jin. He does battle with True Devil Kazuya and is able to go blow for blow with Kazuya. This very same True Devil Kazuya defeated Azazel and absorbed his power. It stated that Devil Kazuya surpassed Azazel by a big margin and this was shown when Devil Kazuya completely one-shotted Azazel. So that's gonna wrap up AP. Let's move on over to speed. So Jin is able to react to Kazuya's laser beam and fire off his own laser beam which turned into a beam struggle. The speed of Kazuya's laser beam has been calc to move around the relativistic speeds so around the 19.9% the speed of light which is pretty impressive giving Devil Jin and both Kazuya as well because they both scale to each other relativistic speeds. Now that's going to wrap up speed let's talk about some of Jin's abilities. So Jin possesses the Devil Gene while the exact specifications of this gene are never truly explained it is generally assumed that the gene allows for a person to have a parasite slash host type relationship with a malignant spirit referred to as the devil. This spirit appears to take over the host altering their appearance and personality and granting them supernatural abilities such as flight, telekinesis, a healing factor and a third eye on their forehead so they can shoot beams of light. In Jin's case, he is a hybrid. Due to his Kazuma bloodline giving him unique resistances, he would also have resistance to death hacks and soul manipulation as characters like Heiachi are able to tank the raging demon from Akuma. In Tekken 8, Jin comes to terms with the Devil Gene, accepting his past mistakes and transgressions and instead of looking at the Devil Gene as a curse, he purifies it, using the Devil's power to protect those he cares about which then gives Jin complete control over the devil gene and he transforms into a new angelic form called angel Jin. this form has the ability to purify demonic beings as this form was able to affect true devil Kazuya's form angel Jin's hacks pertains to purification and a bane to the devil gene given angel Jin holy manipulation angel Jin has the same powers as the devil gene counterpart except replaced with light based attacks and with added new powers such as lacing his arms into a sword of light to strike his opponents chains that bind the opponents as they are bombarded with holy attacks and he also has teleportation and can create light barriers. Another resistance feat, in fact, which is quite direct, which occurred in Tekken 8, was when Jin was able to resist the devil gene trying to possess him physically, spiritually, and mentally, so thus giving us further reinforcement that Jin can resist these things on those levels. Lastly, as for skill, Jin was taught the Kazuma style from his mother, Jun Kazama, and the Mishima style from his grandfather Heiachi Mishima. Kazuma's style incorporates traditional Japanese martial arts, primarily Aikido, Judo, and Karate. The concept of Kazuma's style is used for protecting oneself and those who the user holds close to, whereas the Mishima style Karate is the complete opposite of Kazuma's style, focusing on powerful strikes, explosive movement, and destructive attacks to completely kill the opponent. So that's going to wrap up both these combatants. I'm going to go ahead and give my thoughts on who I think wins more often not in a crossfire situation. So in terms of attack potency and speed, I'd have to lean more so with Jin. Both Ryu and Jin scale in the multi-continental ranges with their forms. Even in base as well, you can make the argument for them being even strong in base. However, when it comes to the numbers, 
Jin just scales higher into those tiers, especially with his own direct feats. And of course, when we look at the planetary statements, you can also bunk Jin up to those levels too. So the gap just gets immensely big. When it comes to speed, Ryu does have sub relativistic speed stuff if you use the bison arguments and the bison speed feat. Unfortunately, that's still too slow. Jin easily has relativistic speed reactions. He's able to react to those lasers and the calcs just scale a lot higher in comparison to Ryu. And so when it comes to speed, gotta give that to Jin too. Now, what about the power of nothingness? What about the increases? What about the other things that it does? It's not gonna matter at all. Jin is still too powerful, even if Ryu is in that form for the other aspects of like the instinctive reaction and the other things that can grant Ryu. That's not going to really be a hindrance in any way, shape or form to Jin. Jin can also use key attacks of his own. There's actually Shi, in Tekken as well so with those things mentioned Jin also has resistance to those things so none of those things are going to really be an issue for Jin whatsoever in combat however when it comes to skill I got to give this to Ryu definitely a lot more a lot more better statements and there's just a lot more things going for Ryu when it comes to skill definitely got to give skill more so to Ryu in comparison to Jin but I don't think that's going to matter much just due to the stat difference especially if Jin goes into his devil Jin form that can be a huge issue especially with the AP gap because then Devil Jin doesn't even need Angel Jin. Devil Jin alone is enough you know he has his laser beams telekinesis and of course just his Mishima style mixed with his AP or his Kazuma style because he can use both of the variations of that uh, martial arts which is very impressive so more often than not I have to give victory to Jin I'd say possibly like low maybe mid difficulty just due to Jin having just better feats in comparison to Ryu and he'd be able to resist anything that Ryu throws at him even if we was to like use a different version of Ryu let's say what if we use evil Ryu and have evil Ryu use raging demon that's not gonna work as mentioned before Jin can resist those things Heiachi can resist it there's just no way for Ryu to take down Jin so more often than not I gotta give this to Jin but thank you guys for watching if you guys are new to my channel please leave a like comment down below and let me hear your thoughts down in the comment section but yes it's been real. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.